2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam here in Las Vegas. It's known as Thin City, but we're at TPC Summerlin for the golf. What's this course like? This golf course historically plays firm and fast and yields lots of birdies. So players going into this week know full well that they have to have the putter going. They need to hit a lot of greens, but they also need to make sure that they're making five, six, seven birdies a day out there. Because if they're not, if they're struggling with birdies and only making pars, then the entire field is going to pass them by. It's a great opportunity because historically the wind doesn't blow very much and all the par fives are reachable, but still having to make birdies, knowing you need to make birdies, isn't always the easiest thing. We're in Vegas and you can even see the famous strip from the golf course. Do the players need to roll the dice, have a little gamble out on that course? I think you have to gamble everywhere on the PGA Tour, but in Las Vegas, I think it's required, isn't it? Be rude not to. Well, it's time for the preamble to be set aside. Let's get into the action. Yeah, that one's looking good. Really controlled the flight there nicely with that wind. What an opportunity to make a birdie. That's inside the range. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Currently one under for the day. The second at TPC Summerland is a par four measuring 469 yards from the back tee. It plays slightly downhill, so a strong drive here will set up even just a short iron approach. However, there's a huge waste area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back with the three metal and give yourself a full shot in and also take one club less into this green as it will release down the slope. John, give us a small update. Hey guys, we are checking in with Bubba Watson as he gets set for his next shot here on the 16th. Oh, Rich, how good is that? That's incredible. That'll help make a big move. And he's down there. Yeah, this breeze just starting to get up now on the course and it's directly into the face. Lovely effort that. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. great now and he holds it what a putt back to back birdies never hurt rich gotta like it he's feeling it oh what a shot that was why don't we revisit the magic they got their putting boots on here look at how this ball rolls end to end thing of beauty Currently two under for the event. The third hole at TPC Summerlin is a very strong par four measuring 492 yards. There's a huge ravine that works right up through the middle of this. It requires a very strong drive up the right half to go at this green in two. There is a big fairway to the left if you want to tuck over and get up and down for your par that way. Ah, uh, great shot. The third hole at TPC Summerlin has been converted from a par five down to a four, Rich, which makes this second shot much tougher. Second shot across the ravine to a green that's surrounded by bunkers. Should you find the green in two, two putts from there will be just fine. But watch out, big numbers abound should you start missing this green out to the right. 
An opportunity for a birdie here. Hey, that's a chance. Oh, that's a ripper. That hole looks double the size for this player this week. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. The fourth at TPC Summerlin is a pretty straightaway par four, measuring 450 yards from the back tees. The fairway bunkers down the left and right are to be avoided. Really, not much to this hole. Just be accurate on approach. Playing from 110 yards out. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. They've decided to club up. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Oh, good chance to take it even deeper here. This putt's for four under. This one's looking good. And with that... That's their fourth birdie. And that will take him to four under. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. The fifth at TPC Summerlin is a par three measuring 197 yards. Depending on where they put the tees on this hole ensures the type of club you need to get at it. If you're going at it, make sure you avoid that bunker that's short and right. And choosing the eight iron here. This one is all over it. What a shot, he's holding it. That was all luck, but listen, luck counts in this game. Mark me down for a one, I say. Well, that's certainly worth another look. I mean, what can you say about a shot like this? This was absolute perfection. Our current leader is up by three shots. The sixth at TPC Summerlin is a staking par four, playing 430 yards. There's a big waste area up to the left-hand side that needs to be avoided. If you can position your drive on the right half of this fairway, it gives you the best shot up the hill to a green that is not protected by any bunkers. You liked that, didn't you? And our intrepid on-course reporter, John, standing by. Hello up there. We are checking in down here with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the 8th. And back to the play, shall we? Time for the second shot here at the 6th. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. That's a great shot into birdie range here at the sixth. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. The seventh at TPC Summer is a short par four measuring just 382 yards off the tips. Really, you just want to avoid the trees on the left-hand side because that will prevent you getting at the green, which is well guarded by bunkers and trees. Lay up, short right, a nice little wedge in here and try and make a birdie. 
Well, Rich, I'm being honest. This lie is putrid. He's going to need an incredible stroke of luck to get this out with any momentum going forward to get it on the green. And another fine looking strike, this one. It'll find the green. They're lining up the birdie putt here. Nice stroke. The putt drops, and that's back to back birdies. And that will take him to eight under. Our current leader is up by three shots. The eighth at TPC Summerlin is a big par three, playing 239 from the tips. A well-struck shot will avoid the gully here, but anything to the left half can roll off the green. The bunker short rider also to be avoided, so you don't make a sloppy bogey. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. Oh, just missed. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. Currently eight under for the tournament. The ninth at TPC Summerlin is a par five measuring over 563 yards. Really, the main aim here is to just avoid that bunker off the left of the tee. Then, if safely in the fairway, you can get after this green. A strong shot will play to the left half of this green and feed down to any hole location. A birdie chance, no doubt. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. In Vegas, they say you've got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. And it seems like the ninth hole, Rich, at TPC Summerlin, time to put the foot down and go for it. You better believe it. Everybody can reach this green in two, even the short hitters, Luke. So players needing to take on this second shot, knock it on the green anywhere up around it. It's a very straightforward pitch for your third. And birdies and eagles will be had by most players. And this part to move into the top 20. It's tracking. That's a great putt to make, especially for an eagle. And Rich, we're heading into the back nine now, but I'm still thinking about that ace on the front. What a beauty that was. Unreal. I, I got to say, to watch that ball go into the hole was awesome. This player is still flying high. shot that one and let's take a look at this shot from moments ago I gotta say his short game is one of the best in the game well that's high quality I'm sure they're aiming for it but for it to go in that's awesome let's return to live play now time for the second shot at the 10th Going with the pitching wedge here. Yep, that shot safely on the green. This putt to join those amongst the top 10 on the leaderboard. by the hole this is a par putt in she goes let's head to the next 
He's currently tied for 14th. Placement off the tee is required at the TPC Summerlin 11th hole, par four, measuring 448 yards. The big bunker down the right side is to be avoided at all costs. And there's also a little tree there which might affect any line of sight approach this green. That should find the fairway. From around 120 yards here. Going with the eight iron here. Woo, back there, horsey. That was wonderfully done. There's been action all day on this golf course. But what about this shot at the 17th? And down it drops. What a shot that was. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Setting up this putt 19 feet from the cup. Just didn't drop. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. It's just about three feet away. He's got this for his part. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. The 12th here at Summerlin is another short par four. 442 yards off the tits, but plays slightly downhill and leaves just a short iron approach. The only real danger here is the big body of water that starts around 150 yards short and goes right up past the green. Wonderfully played from about 100 yards. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. A nice approach shot there. Pin high inside the range. A chance to move into the top ten on the leaderboard here. Looks good off the blade. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. I will take that and a spot the top ten to boot. He's currently tied for ninth. The 13th at TPC Summerlin is a monster par five measuring over 600 yards from the back tees. The big hitters with a tail breeze can cover that bunker on the left hand side. But if you want to lay up, make sure you're giving yourself the right number because there's a lot to this green and plenty of ways to three putt it. Be careful on approach. Second shot here on the 13th. Should find the green here. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. A spot in the top five on the line here. I can't believe this. Is this going to go in? That's a great attempt from long range. So close. Trailing by eight strokes now after that hole. The 14th at TPC Sumlin is a straightaway par three, playing 168 yards. The green slopes right to left, so make sure you've got the right length of club so you're not left with a long part. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look.
A birdie putt awaits. Rolling end to end is looking nice. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Step aside, gents. This man's marching into the top five. Trailing by seven after that hole. The 15th, the TPC Sutherland, is a great short par four. In fact, a lot will try and drive it in the tournament. If you want to lay it back, you've got around about 115 yards uphill to a green where you can't see those back hole locations. However, a good aggressive play here must avoid the pot bunkers around the greens or the big waste area to the left. A chance to make a birdie here or even an eagle. Wow, Rich. That's impressive. That's exactly what I've done. Nobody wants to see somebody laying up on a par four that's drivable. Pull out the big stick. Ooh. Just three feet to the cup. Job done. Let's head to the next. Sitting at minus 14 now for the event. The 16th at TPC Sumlin is another one of those great scoring holes en route to the finish. A par five playing 560 yards. A well-struck drive up the right half here gives you a chance to get at this green in two. If you are going for the green, make sure you've got enough club because that huge penalty area in front of it will ruin any score. Be careful going through the green here as well because getting down from over the back is not that easy. John. What's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Hey, guys, we're down here checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the 18th. OK, time to return to the action. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Setting up here from about 185 yards. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. Our current leader is up by three shots. The 17th at TPC Summerlin is a downhill par three measuring just under 200 yards from the tips. The green shapes hard right to left towards that water hazard. Make sure you're clever at shaping your ball or don't take on any hole location that's tucked in near to the water. This one is chewing fiber. A wonderful shot and a chance for Booty here on the 17th. And this putt to move them into a tie for second. These are on rails, looking good. And there it is. Now three strokes back after that hole. The 18th at TPC Sutherland is a 444-yard par four with a big body of water just beyond the gully, which you've got to drive. Make sure you avoid those bunkers on the right side to give you a good iron into this green. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine nine. 
Outstanding approach shot. Seven feet to the cup. It's got a chance. And another round safely in the books.